In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I would like to welcome all of you guys of today's lesson, which is going to be about listening. Today, also, we will continue the main skills of English, which is listening. Yesterday, we talked about conversation, which is speaking. And today, inshallah, we will start with listening. Okay, so are you ready, guys, with me? Let's start. Let's see the objective today, inshallah, we will match the new vocabulary with the meanings. Also, we are going to practice active listening. Okay, we are going to practice listening, inshallah. Now, I'm going to show you uh, a picture. Okay, look at this picture here. What do we have? What can we call this animal? It's an ape. Very good, okay, it's an ape. Now, look at the face of this ape. Is he smiling or is, is it smiling? Yes, it is, okay. So, sometimes even animals, okay, could smile or even laugh. Okay, uh, this is actually very good because today you are going to listen to a very important article, okay, uh, research it did recently. And it will talk about mainly about if could animals laugh or not. Okay, you are going to see some animals just like this ape. Okay, and also let's see what can we call the laughter, okay, or the sound of the ape when they laugh, okay, or sometimes when they play. Okay, so the laughter or the sound when they make, okay, it's called pant or ground, okay, grounding or panting. Okay, so sometimes apes make sounds, okay, like for example, here we have the panting and grunting. Okay, what about birds or the mere birds? Okay, the parrots here we have parrot. What sounds they give? Okay, sometimes they give a uh, chuckling, okay, chuckling sound, okay, chuckling sound, yes. And finally, we have the mouse, okay, even the cat. We have the mouses and the cat. What do we call the sound of mouse? It's called chirp, okay, chirping. The sound of mouse is uh, chirping. A little uh, like trickle only uh, sound they give the mouses, I mean, okay? So mouses have a uh, small kind of sounds, okay? So here we have called uh, the sound of uh, mouse is called chirp, okay? Very good. Now, open your book, page 39, please. What do we have? We have a chart. You are going to complete this chart, and of course, I will help you with that. Okay, what we are going to listen to today? We are going to listen to the report about animals' ability to laugh. Animals' ability. Qudrat, or Qudrat, al-hayawanat, to laugh. Okay, and you need to complete the chart, okay? To know that, you will listen to uh, the audio for three times, okay? Not once, not uh, twice, it's three times, okay? So, you should look at the chart here and see what we are going to talk about it, okay? Animals that laugh, you should name, define the animals that you are talking about. Also, what makes them Laugh. What makes the animal you already chosen here from the report? Okay. What makes them laugh? And what does the laugh sound like? Just like we did with the, uh, the ape, the mouse, and the parrot or the bird itself. Okay. So here now you are going to listen to the audio three times. Don't forget that. But the first one, the first one, you only listen. Don't do anything or write anything. Just listen, guys. Okay, you have uh, the audio now. Just listen. Don't write or do anything. Focus only on the information. Focus only on the information. Let's start. Page 39. 5. Listening. Listen to the report about animals' ability to laugh. Complete the chart. Until recently, it was believed that laughter was unique to humans. However, recent research has found that some animals make laughter-like sounds in certain situations. For example, 
researchers have found that when chimpanzees chase after and play with each other, they get excited and make a special kind of panting sound. This panting sound is not unlike the ha-ha-ha made by humans when they laugh, but the chimpanzee version sounds more like grunting. Researchers have also found that laughter reduces stress levels in chimpanzees. It is interesting to note that laughter has a similar effect on other chimpanzees as human laughter has on other people. Just as the sound of human laughter relieves stress in people, one researcher found that when chimpanzees hear recordings of other chimpanzees making the laughter sound, it makes them a lot happier and more playful. The truth is that most mammals appear to make a special sound when they are amused or happy. Certain kinds of parrots and mina birds imitate human laughter with amazing precision. It was initially thought that this type of laughter was plain mimicry and did not indicate that the birds were amused or excited about something. However, incidents with mina birds question this assumption. A particular mina bird that was observed used human laughter to respond to different stimuli. When people that he liked entered the room, he would greet them and laugh softly. On other occasions, he would laugh out loud. Finally, and this was key, he would chuckle when he played a trick on an unsuspecting visitor or passerby. For example, he would cry out, Pick up your keys! to a passerby. The person would usually walk on without reacting, so he would whistle and shout, Hey, pick up your keys, your keys! The person would stop and start looking around for his keys, at which point the mina bird would start chuckling. Perhaps the most surprising discovery about animal laughter involves rats. Researchers discovered that when rats play with each other or are tickled by humans, the rats make chirping sounds that are above the range of human hearing. It was also discovered that the area of a rat's brain that lights up when it chirps is the same area of the human brain that lights up when a human is amused. So the rat's chirping sound is clearly associated with positive emotional feelings. Interestingly, the more the rats were tickled by researchers, the more they become bonded to humans and the more they would seek to be tickled. Some researchers speculate that laughter may be a trait shared by all mammals. However, more research is needed before such a conclusion can be reached. Okay, guys. Very good. Now, I want you to write down whatever information you do remember from the report. Okay. Now, let's try uh, really practice listening and write down the information take notes okay the animals that laugh okay we're talking we talked about do you remember like the sound ha 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 and so on what they were talking about and which uh, animal they were talking about or this report i mean also uh when he said birds what kind of birds i'm just giving you hints now i'm helping you okay what makes them laugh also what does the laughs or the laugh sound like so now you need to write down the information you just listen or hear from the report okay and then we will listen again okay after that i will play the audio again to complete the chart of course okay to complete the chart now you have one minute to write down the information you need you should or you can pause this video or stop the video then okay come back and listen again to the audio okay very good now let's let's listen again this is the second time actually and i need you to complete the chart complete it please let's start page 39 5 listening Listen to the report about animals' ability to laugh. Complete the chart. 
Until recently, it was believed that laughter was unique to humans. However, recent research has found that some animals make laughter-like sounds in certain situations. For example, researchers have found that when chimpanzees chase after and play with each other, they get excited and make a special kind of panting sound. This panting sound is not unlike the ha-ha-ha made by humans when they laugh, but the chimpanzee version sounds more like grunting. Researchers have also found that laughter reduces stress levels in chimpanzees. It is interesting to note that laughter has a similar effect on other chimpanzees as human laughter has on other people. Just as the sound of human laughter relieves stress in people, one researcher found that when chimpanzees hear recordings of other chimpanzees making the laughter sound, it makes them a lot happier and more playful. The truth is that most mammals appear to make a special sound when they are amused or happy. Certain kinds of parrots and minor birds imitate human laughter with amazing precision. It was initially thought that this type of laughter was plain mimicry and did not indicate that the birds were amused or excited about something. However, incidents with minor birds questioned this assumption. A particular minor bird that was observed used human laughter to respond to different stimuli. When people that he liked entered the room, he would greet them and laugh softly. On other occasions, he would laugh out loud. Finally, and this was key, he would chuckle when he played a trick on an unsuspecting visitor or passerby. For example, he would cry out, Pick up your keys! to a passerby. The person would usually walk on without reacting, so he would whistle and shout, Hey, pick up your keys! Your keys! the person would stop and start looking around for his keys, at which point the minor bird would start chuckling. Perhaps the most surprising discovery about animal laughter involves rats. Researchers discovered that when rats play with each other or are tickled by humans, the rats make chirping sounds that are above the range of human hearing. It was also discovered that the area of a rat's brain that lights up when it chirps is the same area of the human brain that lights up when a human is amused. So the rat's chirping sound is clearly associated with positive emotional feelings. Interestingly, the more the rats were tickled by researchers, the more they become bonded to humans and the more they would seek to be tickled. Some researchers speculate that laughter may be a trait shared by all mammals. However, more research is needed before such a conclusion can be reached. Okay, now, can anyone tell me what kind of animals you are talking about here? What are the names of animals that in the report? Let's start with of course, the chimpanzees here we have. Very good. And what is the other? The other one? Parrots and the mina birds. Okay, and finally, talked about rats. Okay, talked about rats. Very good. What is going to happen now? I want you to check your answers when you wrote this uh, on the chart here. Okay, check your answers. And I will play now, this is the final time, and the third time, of course. I will play the audio. You are going to listen to it, okay? And to check your answers and make them all correct, okay? Just remember, we are talking about the chimpanzees here, the birds and mina birds. We have also the rats, okay? Let's listen for the final time. Page 39. 5. Listening. Listen to the report about animals' ability to laugh. Complete the chart. Until recently, it was believed that laughter was unique to humans. However, 
Recent research has found that some animals make laughter-like sounds in certain situations. For example, researchers have found that when chimpanzees chase after and play with each other, they get excited and make a special kind of panting sound. This panting sound is not unlike the ha-ha-ha made by humans when they laugh, but the chimpanzee version sounds more like grunting. Researchers have also found that laughter reduces stress levels in chimpanzees. It is interesting to note that laughter has a similar effect on other chimpanzees as human laughter has on other people. Just as the sound of human laughter relieves stress in people, one researcher found that when chimpanzees hear recordings of other chimpanzees making the laughter sound, it makes them a lot happier and more playful. The truth is that most mammals appear to make a special sound when they are amused or happy. Certain kinds of parrots and minor birds imitate human laughter with amazing precision. It was initially thought that this type of laughter was plain mimicry and did not indicate that the birds were amused or excited about something. However, Incidents with minor birds question this assumption. A particular minor bird that was observed used human laughter to respond to different stimuli. When people that he liked entered the room, he would greet them and laugh softly. On other occasions, he would laugh out loud. Finally, and this was key, he would chuckle when he played a trick on an unsuspecting visitor or passerby. For example, he would cry out, pick up your keys, to a passerby. The person would usually walk on without reacting, so he would whistle and shout, hey, pick up your keys, your keys. The person would stop and start looking around for his keys, at which point the minor bird would start chuckling. Perhaps the most surprising discovery about animal laughter involves rats. Researchers discovered that when rats play with each other or are tickled by humans, the rats make chirping sounds that are above the range of human hearing. It was also discovered that the area of a rat's brain that lights up when it chirps is the same area of the human brain that lights up when a human is amused. So the rat's chirping sound is clearly associated with positive emotional feelings. Interestingly, the more the rats were tickled by researchers, the more they become bonded to humans and the more they would seek to be tickled. Some researchers speculate that laughter may be a trait shared by all mammals. However, more research is needed before such a conclusion can be reached. Okay, now... Let's go and find out the answer. What makes the chimpanzees here laugh? You remember when they chasing each other or playing with each other? Yeah, sometimes just like humans, okay, we like to play and chasing each other when, when the kids, I mean, okay, try to play, okay, you, you will see them laugh while they maybe sometimes shout even. Okay, but here also the chimpanzees here trying to do the same as humans, of course, but uh, they like to chasing and playing. This is what makes them laugh. Playing with each other too also make them laugh. What about birds and mina birds? Do you remember that when the mina birds shout, Pick up your keys, pick up your keys. Okay, why he is starting then when you react or the human react, okay, the, the birds start to what? To chuckle or chuckling. Okay, so he starts to like, like laughing on this person when he reacts actually while his keys is not lost at all. Okay, so here, what, what makes the, uh, or the, the animal here, the parrots and the mini birds, Okay, seeing people they like, okay, for if they, saw, if, if they saw people they like, 
they'd like to also to laugh also playing a trick okay on on unsuspecting visitor okay unsuspecting visitor so they like to to laugh what about rats of course playing with each other also rats like to play with each other and laugh okay and being tickled okay what does it mean to be tickled tickled it means that someone when he, when he tickles something okay just if you have animals at home okay just like cats for example or or something like that okay try to tickle them using uh, your your finger okay you maybe they will uh, or it uh, will be laugh okay what does the laugh sound like what about the chimpanzees here? What do we have? Do you remember? A banting sound like ha ha ha. But they actually, they are not like a human. When we laugh, we are humans, okay? When we laugh, okay, we make the sound ha 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 for laughing. While here, the chimpanzees have something else, okay? But still, it's called the banting sound, okay? Banting sound. What about birds and mina birds? It's called chuckling, okay? Chuckling and start to like uh, laughing or something like that. Finally, rats, the sound of uh, rats here is called chirping. The sound of rats is called chirping. I need you now to check your answers. Make sure all of these answers is written uh, in your book. Yeah, write, it, write them carefully, please. We have chimpanzees, birds, and mini birds, rats, and you should remember the sounds of all these animals. Okay, we have the banting sound with chimpanzees, the chuckling with parrot and mini birds, finally, the sherbing sounds with the rats. Okay, let's go and find, uh, sorry, let's see the objectives of today's lesson. We match new vocabulary with the meanings. We knew the meanings of chirping, panting, grunting, and of course, uh, we have the chuckling sound. And we practiced uh, active listening. We wrote some notes and we took information We're using the chart. And this was the last slide of our lesson. I would like to thank all of you students and inshallah, I will see you the next lesson.